Welcome back to the Diecast Museum. Today we've got the Greenlight Dodge Ram first generation pickup truck video at last. I've got about 12 different models here. We're going to be opening everything up for a loose review. Some exclusives from the Hobby 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 series including this 81 Dodge Ram 250 Royale with large camper. The 1990 Dodge Ram D250 with Winnebago slide-in camper. The Trade Show Exclusive 2023 Dodge D350. And a couple trucks from the Dually Drivers series, including this 89 Dodge Ram D350 Dually. I've already got one of these work trucks opened up from previous, so we'll take a quick look at it as well. But the real prize winner for me here, and this was very hard to come by, these are from the Outback Exclusive Toys Company. I got these on eBay, and I was late to the party in finding these awesome trucks. Some of them are lifted. Some of them have those big exhaust pipes through the back of the box, and others have winches on the front, roll bars, bumpers. Some are stock. Just a huge variety of awesome first-generation trucks, all 1992. So this is going to be very exciting to get these out of the package for a loose review and roll on the table here. And uh, these did cost me quite a bit of money. So I'm hoping that uh, by sharing them with you guys, you'll be able to enjoy in seeing these trucks. Certainly Greenlight is making lots more Dodge first generation pickup trucks. So you don't need to hunt these ones necessarily if you're after the casting. But these specific models are uh, pretty hard to come by. Some of them cost me upwards of $50 per vehicle after delivery to my address here in Canada. And now I have all those Outback toy exclusive Dodge Ram first generation trucks open and out of the package. I've already done a pre-roll and a pre-shine. They came out very clean, however. They really didn't need much polishing. Uh, all the tires fit nicely. They're all rolling really well. No problems at all with these awesome trucks. And uh, I do have all eight out of the series. It was an eight truck series as far as the color variations uh, go. And as you can see, we've got the card art in the background. Really nicely sort of uh, cartoon or hand-drawn. I don't know why I said cartoon. But anyways, hand-drawn artwork for these trucks. And I will be keeping those to go along with them. So we're going to look at all of those as well. There isn't really anything on the back of the Carter to look at. We'll take a peek at one of them just so you can see. But uh, pretty much what you get is some very nice trucks. And where I mentioned that they had a winch on the front of them in some cases, in fact, these two, which happen to be the most expensive and hardest to find trucks on eBay, they're drag race trucks or something like that. I think they might be... Um, like the heavy pull trucks, I'm, I'm grasping for words here, but you know what I mean. These are the trucks that pull those big, huge sleds down the dirt path, and sometimes they need some extra weight on the front of those trucks to keep the front ends down while they're pulling, and that would explain the massive exhaust pipes, although I've seen lots of uh, locals in my town with trucks just like this, less so now that the police have been cracking down on muffler noise, but they still are out there. And we've got four more trucks to open up. So, like I said, we're going to look at the Dewey Drivers, the Trade Show Exclusive. And we've already seen this truck once before. That's from the same Dewey Drivers series as this version here. It says Limited Edition. We'll figure out what series that is in a second. It's actually Series 13. So there you go. In one second, we figured it out. And we've got the Campers, which are going to be coming out as well. And we're going to look at year-to-year -year changes. There really weren't very many for this generation of Dodge Ram truck, as it is one of the longest running trucks without modifications or any major modifications from the manufacturer out of the history of pickup trucks, amazingly. And uh, so pretty cool. Let's get into it and see what we see. One more thing I wanted to mention about these trucks is Greenlight has put the hitch and tow compatible hitch on every single one of them. They've got custom license plates as well. So we're just going to go ahead and look at all of these eight trucks first. Looks like I got a bit of a fingerprint on the windshield. That's not mine. That's on the inside, unfortunately. I'm just noticing that now. There are no opening parts on this truck. Uh, I will be able to clean that windshield with a Q-tip as I can get it through the 
driver's side window, which is down. And this particular model has the lift kit on it. I really didn't notice any flaws with these trucks, though. So I guess a little bit of greasy windows, maybe, but should be able to rectify that. Again, these are older models. I was late to the party in buying them. Uh, I think they came out in early 2023. I'm not 100% sure, however. All I know is I had to spend a lot more, and I didn't buy them directly from Outback Toys, where they were sold exclusively. I bought them from a secondary seller on eBay. Actually, two sellers. I wasn't able to get them all from one seller, so I had to kind of piece this collection together, and it really was because of my long-standing interest in Dodge Ram trucks of this era. Having owned and driven several of these trucks in my lifetime already, I have a fondness for them. And uh, very capable, durable, and enjoyable trucks to drive. Not the most powerful, I would say, when it comes to 0 to 60, but uh, they can definitely get you out of a tight bind off-road, and they can certainly work hard when you need them to. Um, lots of different options available on these trucks as well. This one here has the uh, aftermarket roll bar, which is the only... Uh, actually, this one has one too. I was going to say it's the only one of the eight, but no, it's not. Uh, these look like factory authentic paint jobs in many parts. And uh, that is really cool to see. Uh, I've got one other truck still loose. And I, like I said, I'm going to show you the back of the packaging for this specific lineup of vehicles. So this is what you see on the back. Dodge Ram emblem. And that's it. They're all the same. So that's why I didn't take too much time to look at the packaging on these trucks. The exclusives aren't much different. We've got this camper. And, uh, you know, it's basically the same on the back of each one. We'll get these out in just a minute. This one actually has a little bit of information about the Winnebago. And you can pause on that if you want to read about Winnebago's history in short, in brief. Then we've got the Trade Show exclusive truck. Pretty common vehicle. You can find this easily right now at the time of filming. And uh, obviously being not too long ago, they're still quite available. We've got the dually drivers. One bad thing about this particular truck is that you can see it's kind of banana, as I say. Demolition Derby terminology. It looks like the frame is bent, but realistically, it's mostly just the paint line is really crooked between the cab and the box, making it look really bent. I don't think it's overly bad, but it definitely does have some banana in going on. Um, this can be corrected with some pretty heavy-duty customization modifications as far as drilling out rivets and whatnot. The paint, not so much. You'd have to almost repaint the whole truck to get the desired look. So that's a bit of a shame. and something you got to be aware of when you're buying these things. Secondary market and having them delivered to your door. You know, it's much better to find them in the wild at the store so you can really take a close look at everything and make sure you're getting what you are expecting. All right, let's get the last of those trucks out. And then we're going to take all these out for a little roll here on the review table. The final four trucks are out of the packaging. Let's take a close look at these trucks. So we've got the 1981 version right here next to a 1990. So you can see there is a slight grill and bumper change between these model years. Really not much given that nine years went by. Got the camper trailer on this one and a Winnebago slide in on this one. So different campers, kind of the same idea as far as functionality. Not sure if a black roof would be such a great idea on a Winnebago camper. Certainly not in a sunny, hot state in the summertime. That would get pretty toasty in there. And then we've got the um, exclusive. This one also has a chrome roll bar. White rims. Stock ride height. And that's a 1991, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Then we've got the dually. And it rolls pretty nicely for being a dually. Has a hitch and tow compatible hitch. And uh, it's a heavy model. All these trucks, by the way, have metal bases 
rubber tires, uh, no opening parts, but really highly detailed. And the final question I'll probably answer for just a few of you guys is why do I have two? Well, I really like to get collectible models in the packaging for a future display in my larger museum at some point in the future um, where I can put all the trucks together with their artwork when I really like it. I'll buy it like that. But the big time collector in me is a loose die cast collector where I can display these vehicles in my uh, dioramas review them with you guys here on the table and ultimately place them into my background Plano display walls alongside all the other light castings. Come back soon. We've got lots more videos and happy hunting.